Welcome to the Sadler Sales and Sales Leadership Thought of the Day. I had the privilege the other day of speaking with a small business group here in the local Edmonton market, and I was talking to a lot of small entrepreneurs who are really trying to grow their business, really excited about their product or services. And I was talking to one person in particular who really was struggling to get people to take action on their product. Um, they would get people to talk about it, they'd get people to, to look at it, try it out, but they couldn't get people to make a decision. And they were just wandering around aimlessly, spending a lot of time, and they were at the point of absolute frustration. They're like, we don't know what to do, we don't know what's wrong, this stuff is great, it's, it's awesome, people love it when they actually use it, but we just can't get people to make that decision. And so as I talked to that person, one of the things that really seemed to come out was a lack of understanding of who their best fit client was. They were just targeting anybody with a business, going in, talking to them, and, and they were pretty successful at getting conversations, but they were very unsuccessful in getting any kind of decisions. And so when you're looking at your success and your growth plans, one of the key things you have to be ready for or understand is who is your best fit client? And you really have to know what they look like. What, is their, what are their values? Um, what are their things they would need in their business? What problems would you solve for them? And then what kind of 30 second commercial could you give that would allow them to really see the product and how it solves problems for them? This is a problem that a lot of salespeople have is they don't understand how to tell the story. And the story is always from the client or prospect's perspective. It's not from the sales perspective. And so having that ideal fit client where you say, I need a client who's locally based, I need a client who is in this industry, I need a client who is open to new ideas, I need a client who likes to spend money on new and shiny things, that would be an example of some best fit client characteristics. From that, you'd produce your list, you'd go through LinkedIn, you'd go through maybe some associations, some networking groups, find out where these people live. Once you find them, the next step is to take action and go see them or talk to them, pick up the phone, right? So when we pick up the phone or when we see them, we gotta have a strong 30 second commercial. And that might sound something like, hey Bill, you know, Chad with ABC Company, not sure if you ever heard of us before, know anything about us, then we would pause and they would say, no, I've never heard of you. you say, oh man, this is really a cold call then. Do you mind if I just take two minutes to share with you why I bothered to call you and you can let me know if, if this is anything that we should continue talking about? People will always say yes to that. And now you get the chance to give your 30 second commercial. And it's always from their perspective. And you say, you know, Bill, uh, we approach a lot of great companies like yourself. There's the stroke who are frustrated, disappointed, or uh, un unhappy with, there's the pain, right? So it may be from our perspective, we do a lot of sales training. We say, hey, Bill, we talk to a lot of small to medium-sized business owners who have really good people, but they're a little frustrated that they can't seem to find enough new opportunities. The team doesn't know how to prospect. They're unsure of, of who to talk to, and they don't do it on a regular basis. And Bill, sometimes they got that problem solved, but the issue is once they get in the meeting, they can't seem to bring it to closure, right? They run around, follow up, follow up, follow up, and it never seems to close. And sometimes they even got that problem solved, but the real issue is they're really getting pressed on margin. Uh, they're always you know, saying, hey, you know what, that's too high. If you could just sell it a little bit lower, and eventually it becomes unprofitable to sell the product. Bill, I don't know any of those three things, something you've been talking about. That's an example of a 30 second commercial. So if you're out there and you want to grow your business, number one, understand who your best fit clients are. And number two, have a 30 second commercial that is from the client's perspective. With that, um, if there's something more information you'd like to have from us, uh, just click on the link. We'd be happy to interact with you. And that's for Sandler Thought of the Day.